Friday and after a week of downtime. Not my fault. Thank you very much to my server for locking me out. But I'm back and it's time to celebrate Halloween. Now, at first, I thought I might spend the month watching Halloween movies. You know, not the holiday, the Michael Myers series. But then I thought, why would I watch Halloween 4, 5, 6? Why would I torture myself on this, the most joyous of holidays? So I decided instead to find some of the most disturbing stuff that I could find and see if I could freak myself out for the holiday. Now, that being said, I grabbed a copy of Dead Girl and strapped myself in. Now, if you haven't heard of Dead Girl, then don't be really surprised. It's an indie movie that's been wildly popular on the festival circuit, and it's a horror movie of a slightly different color. Here's the story. Ricky and AJ are semi-normal high school kids. They're two misfits who don't have a lot of friends, really just each other, and one other loser named Wheeler. Now, when Ricky and AJ decide to cut class one day, they head to the local abandoned asylum to have a couple of beers and hide out for the day. As they explore the basement of the creepy place, they find a door that's been rusted shut and decide that maybe they found something really good. But once the door is open, they find something that neither of them really counted on. In a darkened room, there's a naked girl chained to a table. Now, Ricky's first instinct is to help her or call the cops, but AJ has some different ideas. After all, if you're a healthy, if rather weird, teenage boy, and you come across a helpless naked girl, you might have some irrational thoughts yourself. Trust me. Well, Ricky sort of washes his hands of the situation, and AJ decides that he's got himself a fairly helpless sex slave. But there is one other little problem. It seems that this girl can't die. They, they find out after she bites AJ, and he beats her up just a little too aggressively. So our hapless losers have got themselves a naked chick who can't be killed. What do you think they might do? And that's really the kernel of this movie. It's a sort of a what would you do kind of movie with a slight twist. Is the dead girl a zombie or is she something else? Will Ricky and AJ find a compromise or will the secret destroy them both? Dead Girl is more of an exploration of humanity's dark side than it is a monster movie, even though clearly the, the dead girl is a monster. Writer Trent Haga has, has built a story here uh, that works on a lot of levels. It's a disturbing portrait of humanity. It's a quasi-zombie monster movie. And it's a dark, weird coming-of-age movie. I'm giving Dead Girl four out of four cigars. It's creepy, it's dark, and it's one of those movies that's really going to make your skin crawl because it takes a horror premise and mixes in a very healthy dose of reality and sets it loose on the world. And it's got an ending that really will make you think. It'll creep you out and make you think. So until next week, when I'll crawl out from under the covers to see if there's something else out there that can freak me out, remember, I can always be found monitoring the indie scene over at RogueCinema.com. And I check out all the freshly dug up horror DVD releases every Tuesday over at FearZone.com. And I'm always right here checking out whatever fell off the video store shelf as I wandered past and reminding you that the best movies are bad movies.